What's poppin' Slick Block? It's your boy, DORS Gamer. And we're back with some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeons. DX. Last time we were playing, we decided that we needed to prepare for the Sky Tower. And, uh, today, We're training for the Sky Tower. We're going to knock out some quests. The only quests I got left are D and C rank. I'm knocking these all out. At least these three. Second, ninth, fourteenth, fifth, twelfth, seventeenth. Four, five, seven. That'll be good. So we'll do Mount Freeze, Magnet, and Mount Blaze. Off screen, I got to level 49. I got Mary Jane. To level 48. And Medi. I don't actually remember when we got Medi. But uh, off screen, when I looked at her stats, I think it was like 42, 43. And she was like 43. Right? And so I was like, dude, let's add her in. I looked at her shit and she had an ability called Type Formation. Which basically means Earthquake, Magnitude, and abilities like that. Uh, deal less damage to your party if they're all in the same room. Right? Specifically, these three. Right. However, I didn't like that ability, so I switched it up. And she ended up getting a... Notorious Fasting. Which basically means I don't take damage when we're hungry. Which is great. Some apples, big apple, perfect apple for when I want to heal, and only when I want to heal. Because I'm not worried about my hunger meter dropping. Now, with fasting, what happens is uh, when you're hungry, instead of you know taking damage like you normally would. What happens here is that you just stop to heal, you don't heal no more. Which... Yeah, I already got a bigger rock, so I'll need one. Let me show y'all uh, Medi's move set. So she has Acupressure, which basically gives us a random buff. Uh, she got Confusion, basic psychic attack. Can't leave something confused. She has Focus Blast, which has helped me level Focus Blast up. And high jump kick. She has two very, very good uh, damage dealing fighting moves. A good status affecting uh, special. Alright. As well as a good buff. Alright. 
Then there's Mary. I gave her baby doll eyes, refresh, swift, and quick attack. Because I wanted her to have the uh, fairy move. Because I do want her to become a fairy type. And for me, I got dual chop, cross chop, earthquake, and focus blast. Unfortunately, earthquake does deal damage to uh, your team. Alright, and with my ability of steamroll, where it doesn't matter what your uh, weaknesses or, or your strong against, you're going to take this damage regardless, I can basically just one-shot my team. And that's the real reason I was looking for someone to replace Scout, because Scout's just like 37. Could not take. And being a fire type. Just could not take the amount of damage I was dealing with an earthquake. Would just faint every time. Also, off camera, I did go on and name all of my Pokemon. As well as I let some go. I told them to get the pack their shit and get the fuck out of my territory. I got a Hitmochan and a Hitmonlee off camera. <laughs> I am on Earthquake. I don't got time for this. <sighs> Medi. Oh, bro. That's just sad, man. Ideally, right? I don't want to push them back so they'd be out the area. Yeah, so you can, you can join us. You got a small stomach, which is another good one. I'm hoping I can find Magnitude, because I believe Magnitude doesn't deal damage to your teammates. Sure. Unless there's some point me talking during me this because I'm gonna end up erasing. Man, the more I think about it, the more I realize how I would love to be in the world of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Or just the Pokemon world in general. I just love Pokemon man. I just love the idea that you fight people, you win, and they have to pay you money. In a uh, normal Pokemon, and then in a uh, oh, you're right there. And 
Misty Dungeon. I just love the idea that there's a whole world of Pokemon that have no humans. With their own language, their own writing system, their own rules. Where they're basically uh, adventurers. They form adventure guilds and they go and do missions and shit. My nose is stopped up. I guess the best question would be, what is my nose not stuffed up, really, right? You son of a bitch, I know it was you! I feel bad for, uh, Hitman Chan, because we are so fucking fast. Let me show you all our stats. So I got an attack of 100, a speed of 93, defense of 65, special defense of 68, special attack of 69, uh, MJ has an attack of 65, defense of 54, speed of 92, special attack of 75, and special defense of 60. I do wish uh, she had a better defense, but... In comparison to Medi, who has a speed of 85, a defense, a special defense of about 55. Let's say 54. All right, and a social attack of 60. I feel like uh, MJ's very well off. Place brick break. I do plan on getting brick break back. Well, at least leg or low sweep. One of the two. Skitty's a cat. It's the, uh, whatchamacallit. Good shit, team! Who is Sandstorm? Was it you? It was you. You got you got food fighter. Or you gotta leave half. Yeah, sure, join us. Leave half is not as good as food finder. No, make sure that for this apple and we'll get a oh no. Tiny apple. Bigger, perfect apples. All right, so 
it's not a little apple, it's just an apple. Yeah, okay. I have so many big apples though that honestly it's not that big of a uh, loss. Pissing me off. You know what I think it is? Because I had tight formation at one point, they were just they just weren't taking that much damage from earthquake. But now that there's notorious fasting instead of uh, tight formation. It's just straight up being burnt. Although I'm not even sure if Typhromation even worked with my steamroll ability. And that makes sense. Cause it's like no abilities or effects should stop or decrease my damage. Right? That should that should include special effects. But nah man. When I was giving my Pokemon drugs to make them stronger. I tried to learn a new special. Which was like, uh, Pathmaker? Or Path Forger, some shit like that, where basically I could destroy walls. But it would cost me hunger. And I almost took that shit. I almost took that shit because I was like, dude, that sounds fun as fuck. Just, you know, walking into a wall, just destroying that shit, carving my own path. And I was totally down, go chop. And you know what? The only thing that stopped me from doing it was the fact that. I would be fucking over me, my entire fighting style if I did do that, man. That was the only thing. I hate that Pokemon. I don't even know why you even make a sandstorm in the fucking snow area. Right, why is he here? I got close to level 50 off camera, right? And I remember saying, like, three days ago, because that's when my last recording was, that I remember when I came to being around this part, I was just like, 
late 40s, early 50s. I believe I fought Groudo in this shit. Originally. My first time playing through this game. On the DS. I was like 46. I remember because uh, my first time playing the game was with the Bulbasaur. Alright, was it the Trico? Was Trico in this game? It was one of the grass types. Alright. And I remember having an entire grass team. Because I remember... No, it wasn't uh, Trico. It was... Uh, it was Bulbasaur. And then it was the uh, the second generation grass type. What is it? The one that becomes Bayleaf. Uh, Chikorita. No. Damn it. Was it Chikorita? I think it's Chikorita. Let me just go on my phone real quick and make sure I'm not tricked. Chikorita. That, that was like my team, the first time I played. Alright, I absolutely hated that team. Alright, I hated it because two grass types? What the fuck was I thinking? I was like, here, a Bulbasaur. Did it, did it, did it. Did it. And then it's like, pick your partner, and I picked Chikorita, because Chikorita is one of my favorite grass types. Right? But then we've got to the fucking, uh, Mount Blaze, right? With fucking... Not Rocky Clown. Not... Zapdos. Voltres? Is it Voltres? I forget I forget the name of that legendary bird. Voltres! There we go. And that shit destroyed me, man. That was like the hardest dungeon. I mean it wasn't it wasn't the hardest, but like because of my team makeup. Alright. I hated it. Oh man, I hated that shit. And then I got to ground on it, and I was like, what the f another fire area. Right? And boy. That was the first time. The first time I quit. It was because of Groudon's area. Alright. But I remember actually making it to the Groudon fight. Right. I remember I remember making it there, right? And then getting fucking team wiped out by like an earthquake or some shit. And me just being like I was 40 I was like 46. I was like, no, 46. And I was like, no. No, I'm not going back and doing that entire dungeon over again with this team. So I just reset. I restarted from the very beginning. And I just, I did not want to go through the Magma Cavern with an entire grass type team. And I remember my thought process too at the time, right? I was like, all right, this team, Mr. Dungeon Team Blue, right? Which fairly means it's gonna have a lot of water legendaries. All right. 
So I'm gonna build a group. So having two grass types won't be that big of a fucking deal. Right? Right? That wasn't the case. Like at all. So the second time I played, right, I got a, I got cube on, right, which I was like, ground type, strong against fire. All right, perfect. Now, because of me just being like, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to fucking do this shit again with the grass type, right? I was in a very distraught and disturbed mindset. Which apparently led to me answering all the questions in a very lonely-like, uh, aspect. Which they were like, oh, that's exactly, uh, Cubone. They're like the perfect match for Q uh Cubone. And I enjoyed everything, and I mean everything about the Cubone playthrough. Like I beat the game with the Cubone playthrough. Cubone uh, naturally learns double chop. I don't remember if I naturally learned or if I taught this move to much chop. But Cubone naturally learns this shit. Which is. Uh... Just one more, up four seventeen. I can just blitz it. I've got this. passed out in the first place. Double high kick? Let's play. No, let's play. Or play through. When I did, uh, I forget how it went. I forget if he learned it naturally, or if it was one of the moves where when you go to Swablu or whatever the fuck that nigga's name is. can reteach it to you because you forgot it.
remember being a little 50, and I remember dual chopping was like... I remember dual chopping was like... Five! I think it was like in the fives. And I got all the way up to level five. And like, it only, like, bruh, it was so good. Cause I was doing like 110. Damage to some shit. I remember the feeling, because I remember easily destroying Groudon. I had Bone Club, uh, Double Chop or Dual Chop. Rock Smash, or if not Rock Smash, like Rock Tomb. The sky tower being so goddamn long. Like, 
didn't make sense how long it was. Yeah, I don't think I have a seven. I have a six, a nine. Iron Defense? I'll take that. I'll take those drugs. I might actually get Gold Ring, man. I might actually get Gold Ring, bruh. by the way. I remember that. I really do hope we get another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the Switch. They remake uh, one of the other ones. I didn't like this yet. I don't know if take it. that uh Evie didn't level up or uh Mary Jane didn't level up yet. Oh, 
forward. Pushed in the fire, fucking with me, man. Don't have any uh, starting. I don't think I do.
chance, man. I didn't pay attention to what floors they were on. Stick with me. <laughs> but that ditto is, that's for damn sure. <laughs> There's no one around once. 
Okay, silver, citrus. Mm, citrus, that's good. Straw blue. Mm, that one. Azuria. Oh, man, we did a lot. We got the platinum. Done with 
as you see. Alright, well, there you go, Slipbark. If y'all enjoyed the episode, leave a like and comment. I hope that you enjoyed this. is DOR's Gamer with Slipbark Mafia. Subscribe to Slipbark and Deuces SDM. We're going to be G's out. Peace.